witch's final resting place. Lord Gog said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Can bring them. Rebellion. The dead Ashwinder. The compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gog won't. to show this to Lord Gok. There must be some sort of mechanism for this doorway. Lodcock, the sarcophagus has been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good. There's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Revenia. I 
wasn't too hard. There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Lord Gok. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Oh, then I'm glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. 
This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe... Rebellion. What do you mean? Coming home for the holidays, darling. He has a special knack. It's tormenting <laughs> Professor Black.
Gravenia. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Humoring me for a moment. See if you can remove the them from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. Rebellion. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or shapeshifter, if you will, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> Yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. 
Rebellion. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Ogsmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm, you'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Alohomora. Oh, well done! You're in! Remember, use the disillusionment chance so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area. Alohomora. Rebellion. getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? 
Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Aconite and Asphodel. Yes! It's still early. Perhaps they'll improve.
Revenia. Better not be another student. What trickery are you up to? This must be the prefect's bathroom. I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Huh. I had planned. Hufflepuff? Not Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that. They're saying that Ranrock's loyalists are preparing for a rebellion. Hello, Mora.
Anyway, I'm very My march is like the head. I don't think that's what that class is for. She's right. Why don't you leave God alone? Why do you speak to a prefect that way? I'm a prefect too, you twit. That's it. Make me help point. You know you can't do that. I had planned to bet a few galleons on half of them.